Hi everyone, welcome back. This is part three of the reading that I'm doing for my very special friend. So we are going to get some advice cards right now. Part one and two have been interesting to say the least. I mean, we've picked up on soulmate twin flame energy. We have definitely seen a new beginning coming in that has been facilitated by a third person who is a mutual friend and things are looking great at the moment let us shuffle okay let us see what advice we can get for you you are moving out of this energy, Five of Pentacles. You're moving away from the feeling of being left out in the cold about a certain situation. I don't feel like it is referring to literal poverty, but it's a feeling of being left out, left in the dark, left out in the cold, being excluded. I feel like this person will open the channels of communication and really start talking to you from now on. Okay, we always get this for you. I don't feel like this is related to this person. It is a warning against childish people on social media. Um, when people come in with their childish flirtations and things on social media, don't even take it to heart because you know you deserve better. And you can really distinguish the difference between that and true love. And anyway, you only have eyes for one person, so need I say more? Alright, so again, with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, you're moving out of this energy of feeling defeated. You are reclaiming your power. You are moving ahead. You're making progress because you've been working on yourself. These two together. Two of Wands, someone at a distance is really thinking of you, and it is said person. Definitely it is the person we've been talking about. This person is thinking about having this with you. The house, the kids. You see there are like two different, three different generations. An older person, two people, and a child. And this person is at a distance from you. They're moving closer. Believe me. The High Priestess is about trusting your intuition. It is also the Taurus card. And we know that the said person is a Taurian. In reverse, because like we said, at this present moment, he's still in your life as a friend. And that is changing going to be changing pretty soon okay this is not anything to be alarmed by it is just showing that he not you this is coming from him he is scared of getting his heart broken again and he's scared of breaking someone else's heart because it comes after the Taurus card okay fair enough you're a Taurian too but this is him. When I said at present moment, I pulled that card, which is telling me that at the present moment, he's feeling bruised, vulnerable, um, still quite unsure about whether to go ahead with anything more than a friendship. Keep in mind, it is not saying that heartbreak is coming your way. That's not it. Again, he's showing up here as the King of Swords, who is definitely going to start communicating with you. At the moment, it's still like this. It will change to that. Because he's not going to keep quiet anymore. I feel like the more you guys communicate, eventually he'll open up to you. And he'll even open up about his past and the heartbreak that he's endured. Judgment, maybe he's not sure whether you will take 
how you will take his his words, how you will interpret it if he tells you about his past and opens up to you. He's scared that you will judge him. The hanged man, maybe at the moment this is him. Feeling in limbo, feeling stuck. Maybe he needs to see things from a different perspective. And he will with the magician. Look, with the magician card, it's it basically talks about you creating your own destiny. You are the creator of your life to a certain extent. If things are fated, things are fated, right? But I feel like this is you manifesting the connection with this person. And look, underneath it, the chariot, forward movement, progression, Things are moving. Things are really, really moving for you. Underneath the chariot, we have the star, again, which not only speaks about his celebrity status, but he sees you as his star. Underneath that, we have the ten of cups, which really, really tells me that you will get your happily ever after. I'm so happy I'm so excited for you I can't even express in words how excited I am and I know that this reading resonated with you um, I will be doing the pendulum questions via whatsapp with with you with my friend because it is way too personal to do it on my channel um, I didn't pick up on any of the other issues we discussed on the phone um, I will do that with a pendulum as well. But thank you very much for watching. Thank you to everyone else for watching. Thank you for your continued support. I really do appreciate it so much. All right, bye for now.